especially when you're a little kid like I was first or second grade you know what I'm saying so I was so used to a certain name like my whole name got changed my first middle and last And today I have a Q&A video. Um, I have a few questions that I'm going to answer so you guys can get to know a little bit more about me. Uh, so the first question is, are you married? So I'm engaged, so next month I should be getting married. Do you have any children? Yes, I have one kid. His name is Jamari. He's four years old. Um, where are you from? I was born in Detroit, Michigan. I say I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan because I basically, I was here my whole life basically. Like, I came here when I was five years old. When is your birthday? My birthday is April 7, 1993. So that will make me 25 years old. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Crystal. Her name is Crystal. Uh, we've been friends since elementary. That's my best friend slash sister. Like, she been there through it all. Like, she know everything about me. Are you adopted? Yes, I'm adopted. I have been adopted since I was, I think I was six years old when I was adopted. So, yes, I am adopted. How is your relationship with your parents? So I have three moms, one is my adopted mom, one is my biological mom, and one is my fiance's mom, so soon to be mother of mom. So my relationship with my adopted mom, uh, we don't talk. Um, we always had a distant relationship and I feel like since I was adopted at a young age, um, it was kind of harder for me, like every kid is different, you know? I feel it's, it's something to, to get used to, especially when you're a little kid. Like, I was first or second grade, you know what I'm saying? So, I was so used to a certain name. Like, my whole name got changed. My first, middle, and last. You know, I was young, and I was taken away from my mom. My dad wasn't in the picture at the time. Um... So I, I just remember like my mom, she always having this, this bond with me, you know, like she was, she was all, like she was so loving, like she took care of us the best she could, but I always felt loved with her, you know what I'm saying? Like mama bear, baby bear, you know what I'm saying? Like I was under her wing, you know? So me having those memories or even that feeling, that's how I know like, Cause I don't really remember a lot, you know, but I, I remember that I was loved. So for me being adopted, like it was a different feeling, like, you know, cause she wasn't my real mom. Like she wasn't my biological mom. So I had to adjust to everything and her rules and how she was and everything. So it just didn't feel like, it, it just felt like I was there, somebody house. It didn't feel like nothing was real. It didn't. Like, even, like, I just felt like we were treated differently. And she was they she, we weren't. But that's just how I felt. Like, even with cousins being around. Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like she would treat us different than, than actual family. But she would say she wouldn't. But that's just how I feel. Like, I just felt that way. I felt like I couldn't, you know, come to my mom and talk to her about anything because... Like, I feel like it wasn't important. So, when I was younger, that's when I stopped talking to her or, or coming to her about stuff that I thought was important. I came to my sister, who was one year younger than me. I talked to her about it because I feel like she was a, she she cared, you know what I'm saying? Like, she cared to listen. She cared to try to figure out, like, how to help me in certain situations, you know, because I remember come, going to my adopted mom to tell her something and she like brushed it off like it wasn't important so since that day I never came to her about anything so that's why it's very important to to get to know your kids especially if you adopt 
to the kids. It's very important to get to know them and to, to learn how they react to certain things because because you didn't start, you know, I didn't come out of you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you didn't start raising me since a baby, so you don't know exactly, like, you know, every kid's different. So I, I would have wanted her to take more time to get to know me and to talk to me more when I was younger because I feel like she did. My relationship with my biological mom is not where I would like it to be. Like, uh, we don't call each other like I would like. Um, and it, I'm still getting to know her. Pretty sure she's still getting to know me. Like, because, yeah, she's just going to have those memories from the time that she had me, you know what I'm saying? But I think differently now, especially since I was raised by a different person. I think different. I see life differently, you know? So we're still trying to, to get to that place where I would want us to be, you know? I, w I always wanted a good relationship with my parents, you know? Like, I always wanted to, like, be able to call them every day and to, to go places, go out to eat go get our nails done, you know, stuff like that. But I just feel like that's, it's not there yet. So hopefully that'll change. Um, in my relationship with my uh, Beyonce's mom, my soon to be mother-in-law, that's not where I would like it to be either. Now, I would say that she is the one I'm closest with um, I know that she really cares about me and I know she really loves her grandson. She is the main person who's in her grandson's life. Like, she's the main one who checks up on him. She's the main one who calls him. She's the main one who spend time with him. And he, my son knows my mom, my biological mom, he knows her. Um, if he would see my adopted mom, I'd probably have to remind him who she is because he saw her one time. But, <clears throat> but yeah, so, cause she kind of like, she's kind of frustrating sometimes. She's kind of really, really hard to deal with. So, you know, because I normally, for the most part, I respect my elders. But sometimes I, I do catch myself getting smart with her sometimes because, it's very hard. You guys will know if you knew her. It's, it's really hard, but she has a good heart. And I, I just hope our relationship get better too. How many siblings do I have? So my biological mom, she has six all together. My older sister has a different father. Um, so I have two older sisters with my adopted mom. Why do I want to do YouTube? I feel like I can relate to so many people. Like I want to tell my story. I want to share about my life. Um, I want to entertain because I'm really goofy. And a lot of people haven't seen that side of me because I was always shy. But I feel like YouTube would bring it out of me. I did like this, um, a test to see if I would like being like YouTube or I would like to do this. So what I did was I did a couple pranks. So if you go to like my first few videos, I did a couple pranks on videos and stuff. And I really liked it. I liked it. I did my own editing. I did my own intros, outros. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out everything, how everything works. So in time, I know for sure I would get better and I would have more confidence. Cause that's what I that's what I need to work on is my confidence and um, but I'm really excited to like start this journey and I'm excited to I'm, I'm excited to connect with a lot of people and I'm excited for it all I do need to update you guys on my breast reduction those who want to see that video um, I'm going to be three months post-op soon, so I will be showing my scars again and um, any new changes or any new things that I have noticed. So make sure you stay tuned and um, press the notification bell so you will get that 
notification when the video comes up. And um, if you guys want me to do a second Q&A, um, questions in the comments. And then um, if I get enough questions, I will do a second Q&A. Because I want you guys to get to know me, like, um, especially since I'm going to do YouTube. I want to get my subscribers to get to know me on a different level, you know. And um, I am so excited for this new journey. So make sure if you did not subscribe yet, make sure you subscribe and press the notification so you can get notified and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.